Welcome back to Unite's Star Pro Coaching. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the analysis of a simply supported beam, which is subjected to a central point load. Let us consider a beam of span 4 meter which is simply supported at both the ends. And it is carrying a central point load of 40 kN. We know that the bending moment and shear force will be as shown in these diagrams. We know that the shear force for a simply supported beam with central point load is equal to W by 2 at the end supports, which is equal to 40 by 2, is equal to 20 kN and similarly, the bending moments will be W a B by L which comes to be 40 kN meter. So, let's analyze the same beam using Star Pro software. First of all, open the Star Pro by clicking on this icon which, you can see on your desktop after the installation of Star Pro. Next thing to do is, click on the new project and take on space. Enter the file name you want to give to your model. I will put it as, SSPT. Now give the location where you want to save your project. I have created a folder called SSPT, in D drive and I am giving this path. You can give any path you want and click OK. Select length unit as meter and force unit as kilo newton, click next and click finish. Let the start pro generate your model with these default settings. There are different views available here, such as front view, back view, side views, top and bottom views and the asymmetric 3D view. To draw a beam, select the front view. That is view from positive Z direction. Now, go to geometry. Close this window and enter the coordinates as 0, 0, 0. You will get this first point called node. Draw a second node whose coordinates will be 4, 0, 0. Now, click on that beam symbol here. And draw a beam from this node to this node. With this, our modeling part is over. Now, go to general, go to support, click on create, click on pinned, and then add. Select support 2. Select the nodes, where you want to give this support. Click assign to selected nodes. Click assign, yes. Next part is to give loading. For that, go to load and definition, click load case details, click add. Select the first load type as none, and give load title as PT for point load. Click Add, Close. Click on PT, Add. For the point load, click Member Load, and select Concentrated Force, take P as minus 40. The negative sign is because, the load is acting in downward direction. N to D1 is equal to 2, and D2 is equal to 0. Distance D1 is, the distance from start point of the beam and D2 is the starting point of the beam. Now, select direction as global Y, that is GY and click add, and close. Now, it's showing question mark here, because, we have not yet assigned this load to the beam. Select this concentrated load, select beam, click on assign to selected beams, assign, yes. To scale the loading, Click on the symbol over here. The last part before analysis is to assume some suitable section for the beam. For that, go to property, click on define, select rectangle, select material as concrete. I am assuming the section as 0.23 meter by 0.30 meter. You can assume any standard size you want. Click add, close. Select this section, select beam, click assign to selected beams, assign, and yes. Now, our beam is ready to analyze. Go to commands, analysis, perform analysis, no print, ok. Click on analyze, 
run analysis, and click save. Wait for the beam to analyze. It may take some time to analyze, depending upon your computer speed. After the analysis, check for the errors. See, there are no errors, therefore our analysis is correct. Go to post processing mode, click done, apply, ok. To check shear force and bending moment values, click on beam, click on maximum bending moment in table. See the value is 40 kN-m. Similarly, check maximum shear forces. See the value is 20 kN, means our analysis is correct. Turn off bending Z moment and turn on shear Y force, to see shear force diagram. If you want to see result values on diagram itself, go to results, view value, beam results, and tick on bending at ends and maximum, and shear at ends and maximum. Click annotate, click OK, close. See the value is positive 20 here and minus 20 here. Turn off shear Y force diagram, and turn on bending Z diagram. See the value is minus 40 kN. In this way, you can analyze a simply supported beam with central point load, using Start Pro. Thanks for watching this video, please like, share and subscribe for more Start Pro tutorial videos. If you have any questions, Please feel free to ask and comment your doubts in the comments section below. Thank you.